Hey, um, so I wanted to get on here and do the video so you would have the instruction for reading. Um, so this week we we're talking about making predictions and we're using the book Sylvie. And I've included the link for this book inside of the Google Doc that I sent out. Um, but first I need you to listen to this, this um, lesson and then you're going to go read the story or listen to the story. Okay, so like I said, we're reading the book Sylvie and we're going to be talking about making predictions. And I want you to try to think about what you think making a prediction would be. And I'll give you a few seconds for you to think in your head what you think making a prediction could mean. Okay, so making a prediction is kind of like making a guess. A prediction is a guess you make using clues from the words or the pictures. So readers make predictions before, during, and after reading. So if we were to look at this poster right here that I've included in my PowerPoint, if we didn't have the words right here, we would just see a little girl eating a bunch of candy. And we could probably make a prediction that she ate all of the candy in the candy jar. And that's what the words told us in our story is that Emmy ate all of the candy in the jar. So I want you to watch this video about making a prediction. And I'm going to make my screen fit the screen so that way you can watch and listen to it. Sorry, that was taking forever to load. So I finally got it to load. And this is a video that I want you to watch. Um, I just want you to listen to the words of the story, okay? Or the song. Make sure you know the vocab to un Have you ever wished that you had a superpower? Well, what if there was one you could get right now, huh? Prediction is sort of like seeing the future. It's an educated guess and can be really useful. We make predictions for fiction or nonfiction. Fiction is made up. Nonfiction isn't get equipped and prepared for what comes next. By using evidence inside the text, you gotta pay close attention to properly predict. Observe each detail and remember it. Make sure you know the most have to understand the text that's the educated part of an educated guess so how do you predict what are the tools text features are they're sort of like clues titles illustrations photos captions the front or back cover titles of chapters take them all in really examine do they offer any clues about what will happen make an educated guess about it. predict wanna know if you're right keep reading to check some of your predictions may not come true so revise along the way if you need to as you find out more your prediction can change because you get more info with each page if only i could tell the future i wish i would well, kind of sort of can if you learn to predict it's an educated guess based on context maybe you can tell us what happens next if okay so i'm gonna stop it there um because this song's a little long so we're not gonna listen to all of it but it taught about making a prediction and it talked about a prediction being an educated guess. And that's kind of like what we were talking about earlier. It's just a guess. And you're using the clues from the words or the pictures. Okay, so in our book, Sylvie, I'm going to go ahead and turn to this page. Our book, Sylvie, is a book about a flamingo. Um, and we're going to look at the, I just answered that one question, look at the cover of the book. What animal do you see? Um, it's about, it's a story about a flamingo. And if you've ever seen a flamingo, you notice that they're a pretty shade of pink, okay? And typically, we would be answering these questions in class, but because I can't see you, I'm just going to talk about them, okay? Um, so, if we look at the flamingo's facial expression, we can predict that the character, Sylvie, is happy. And we can see that because she has a smile on her face. We predicted that she would be happy because she has a smile on her face. And then we're not going to take a picture walk through the book because I don't have the book with me and I don't have it on here without you listening to the story. But I'm just going to give you some clues on how we can predict. Okay, so I want you to get a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen or whatever you have. And I want you to predict our story. So I'm going to give you some clues. Sylvie was a special flamingo. And Sylvie changes colors every time she eats something. Now, flamingos are usually pink because they eat these little pink shrimps. And that's what gives flamingos their colors. So, I want you to predict what you think would make Sylvie turn green. 
So I want you to write, I predict whatever you think turns Sylvie green. She changes these colors, and I want you to try to predict and guess what you think turns Sylvie that color. Um, so I want you to do, I predict something turned green. I predict something turned Sylvie purple. I predict something turned Sylvie brown. I predict something turned Sylvie's tail into a rainbow. And I want you to fill in these blanks with what you think it is. So, for example, Miss Monroe said, I predict an apple turned Sylvie green. Maybe she ate a green apple and that helped her and that made her turn green. And then we're, when you listen to the story, you're going to see if your predictions were right. Yes, if they're going to be right or if they're not going to be right. And it's okay if your predictions are wrong. But I just want you to predict and practice using that skill of predicting what you think is going to happen in the story. And then actually listening to the story or reading the story to see if your predictions were true. So I want you to do that. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video so you can go listen to our read aloud story. And it's in the Google Doc on Google Classroom that I pushed out. I'll see you in a little bit for the next part. Welcome back. So we are going to be doing another day. It's Tuesday. It's not really Tuesday. It's still Monday to me. But to you, it's Tuesday because you're watching this video on Tuesday. And we're just going to continue practicing making predictions in a text. And remember yesterday, we talked about a prediction is as a guess that you make using clues from the words of the story. And when we listened to the story, we learned that Sylvie turned different colors. And she turned green and purple and blue and red and all these other kind of rainbows. Her tail turned into a rainbow because she was eating certain, certain things. And yesterday, we practiced predicting what we thought she would turn into as she ate different things. And I don't know if your guesses were right or wrong. We're going to see. But Miss Monroe predicted that Sylvie turned green by eating a green apple. Is that really how Sylvie turned green? Did she turn green by eating a green apple? Or did she turn green eating something else? I want you to tell me that. So before we go to the next portion, I want we're just going to talk about some of these um, discussion questions. And if you want, you can write your answers down on a sheet of paper and send them to me in Class Dojo, or you can just listen to me talk about them and go on to the next part from there. So, what did Sylvie notice about her family? And we noticed that her family turned what? I'll give you a minute just in case you want to record your answer. We noticed what about Syl uh, Sylvie's family? Okay, so we noticed that Sylvie's family turned pink. And I'm not going to go over all of these. I'm just going to do two or three. So we notice that Sylvie's family is pink because they eat pink shrimp. And then why do you think Sylvie starts eating new foods? Why did we think, why do we think, hmm, why do we think Sylvie eats new foods? Miss Monroe thinks that Sylvie started eating new foods because she just wanted to try something different. She was like, hmm, she's just kind of curious. Hmm, I wonder what would happen since I eat shrimp and it turns my color pink. I wonder what would happen if I ate something that was not pink shrimp. What would happen to me then? She's just a little curious. Like, Miss Monroe has a carrot cake sitting over here beside me. And I wonder if I was Sylvie and I ate this carrot cake, if it would turn me orange. Hmm. I don't know. That's a good, it's a good prediction. I don't know. I think it would turn me orange or it might turn me into a carrot because it's a carrot cake. I don't know. Okay. So we're going to practice making some more predictions. So how do we talk about predictions? So these are just some of the sentences we might say when we're talking about making predictions. I think something will happen because something. Okay. So Miss Monroe is going to fill in the blanks. I think Sylvie will, will turn colors because, there's that keyword because, when I look at the pictures, I notice that she turned colors. I bet the character will turn orange because I predict that she eats the orange. Maybe. Okay. So we just kind of make sure we use those sentence, those sentence stems whenever we're talking about prediction. So these are just some of the vocabulary that we can use, some of the, the word usages that we can use when we're talking about making predictions. Okay. So I'm going to show you some pictures and I want you to make a prediction. I want you to get a sheet of paper and a pencil. And I want you to make a prediction of what's going to happen in e at the, after each picture occurs, okay? So you can either write a sentence or draw a picture, okay? So I want you 
I want you to look at this picture I'm about to show it on my slide. And whenever I show you the picture, I want you to write or draw a picture about what's going to happen next. Okay? What do you think is going to happen next in this picture? I'll give you a few minutes. You can pause it if you need a longer time. But I'm not going to take up too much time because I only have so much long on this video. So I'm going to pause it. And you go ahead and come, you, you pause it and go ahead and come up with your conclude what you think is going to happen next. Okay, here's the next video. What do you think is going to happen next? Pause it and write your answer or draw your picture. What do you think is going to happen next? Predict. Predict what's going to happen next. Draw your picture or write your answer and pause it. Uh-oh, what do you think is going to happen next? Make a prediction. Write your answer or draw a picture and pause it. Okay, and that's it for today. So I'm going to go ahead and pause it and get the video rolling for tomorrow. And I will see you soon. Go ahead and go back to that Google Doc and listen to the book Sylvie one more time. Okay, it's Thursday. And on Thursday, we talk about the vocabulary. So in our story, we heard a couple cool words. We heard the word nibble. And the word nibble means to take small bites. So I want you to write on a sheet of paper and go ahead and pause the video so you can record your answer. What are three foods that you like to nibble on? You may go ahead and write your answer now. Wonder. Wonder is to think about something because you're interested in it. I wonder. Hmm, I wonder. I want you to draw a picture of something you wonder about. Miss Monroe wonders how bread is made. Hmm, I think that's kind of cool. I wonder how bread is made. I wonder how milk is made from cows. Hmm. That's a really good, that's a really good thing to wonder about. I wonder how milk is made from cows. So I want you to go ahead and pause the video and I want you to draw something or write a sentence or draw a picture of something you wonder about. Bouquet, a bunch of flowers that is put together in a beautiful way. I love flowers. So, who would you give a bouquet of flowers to and why? I want you to rather draw a picture of that person or write a sentence. I would give a bouquet of flowers to my mom because she really loves lilies. So, I would give my mom some lilies. Delicious. I think we all know what the word delicious means. It means very tasty. Draw the most delicious food you've ever tasted. Miss Monroe loves chocolate cookies. So I think I would draw a picture of chocolate cookies. I want you to pause the video and draw a picture of the most delicious food you've ever tasted. And that is the last one. So I'm going to go ahead and I want you to go on to Renaissance and... I want you to take the AR quiz. I've included the link and the code into that Google Doc, and I want you to go in there and take the AR, the AR quiz for our book, Sylvie. Happy Friday. You've made it to Friday. That may be a glitch because I've hit the, I hit the pause button. Sorry. We've made it to Friday. So I've included the draw a flamingo picture, and what I want you to do is I want you to follow these directions that are included right here. And I want you to draw a flamingo. I want you to draw Sylvia Flamingo and color it. And then I want you to write on your picture, if I ate something, I would look like something. So Miss Monroe is going to fill in that blank. Miss Monroe would write, if I ate carrot cake, which was my example from the other day, if I ate carrot cake, I would look like a carrot. If I ate carrot cake, I would look like a carrot. And then I would draw a picture of my Sylvie, like we did right here. I would draw a picture of Sylvie. So you should have a picture of Sylvie and write this sentence. If I ate something, whatever you want to fill in this blank right here, I would look, whatever you want to fill in this blank right here. Miss Monroe said, if I ate carrot cake, I would look like a carrot. All right, and that's it for this week. So I hope you have a great weekend, and I will have more up for you in Google Classroom on Monday, and I cannot wait till you come back into the classroom.